This morning, I woke up, I was looking through my messages, and I saw Nana Kufado was asking me why I was refusing, asking me why I'm refusing to debate Baumia. You know, Baumia doesn't deserve a debate. If I, he is losing this election. I will not elevate him to my level and go and sit and debate him. Their campaign is failing. They have no message. And so he wants to be elevated to my level. No, 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 no. I know my level. You see, in 2012, I was sworn in as president. And I went into that election as the sitting president. They called for a debate. I made myself available. I debated Nana Kufado. In 2016, I was the sitting president. IEA organized the debate. I made myself available. Nana Kufado refused to take part in the debate. In 2020, he was the sitting president. He refused to take part in a debate. But the one who responded to me when we made the call for the debate is the current flag bearer of the MPP who is asking me for a debate. Has he forgotten what he said? That I should go to Sangma and go and debate the farmers of Sangma who don't have fertilizer. That I should go to Abosokai and go and debate the spare parts people who cannot buy dollar because dollar is three point something to uh, three CDs point something to the dollar. He said I should go and debate the taxi drivers and the drivers who cannot buy petrol. This is the same Baumia today asking me for a debate. As for him, the people he will debate are many. He should debate the nurses who are sitting at home who have not been posted. He should go and debate the teachers who are home who have not been posted and debate them about their licensure exams. He should go and debate the fishermen who cannot get premix and they have to go and buy premix from hairdressing saloons. He should go and debate the unemployed youth who have finished school four years ago and to date cannot find work. Has he forgotten? That is what he told me. So today, why do you want to debate me? All the people you said I should go and debate, their situation is worse now than it was in 2016. So you go and debate them, go and debate them and tell them why you have mismanaged this economy in eight years, why their situation is worse even though you promised that you were the economic wizard and that you were coming to change the economy of this country. Go and explain and apologize to the people of Ghana.